Hi everyone, and thanks for stopping by and for returning to the old world. Today sees a return of stuff what I painted for January 2023, a new year, but a continuation of my hobby progress, logging. For those of you who haven't seen one of these videos before, basic premise is every model that is finished, based and ready to go, put on the tabletop, on a shelf, in a box, whatever, is logged through a video just to help really motivate myself to keep pushing through towards completing my products and getting the pile of shame, the mountain of opportunity, whatever you want to call it, under control. I hadn't expected to do one of these videos this month, but a late surge has got enough stuff on the table to really make it viable. So let's see what we've got to start with. Six Necron Warriors, they're armed with a mixture of weapons. They're not models that are particularly high on my agenda to get painted. They're ones that I really was just looking to get the Necrons done. So I've got about 10 left of the Warriors, I think, plus one other figure to complete that is the Indominus box set. Um, and you can probably see from some of the models they don't, or I certainly found they didn't go together as easily as they could, and they do feel a little bit fragile. Um, and the reason I'm doing those really is to say just to, to get them off the desk more than anything else. I don't have any plans to go down the build a Necron army route, certainly not at the moment. The colour schemes, I think, is quite striking, and it's actually quite easy to do. So... That is a contrast blue over iron hand steel for the bits of the bodies that are representing stuff that really shouldn't be on display and should be covered up. That is lead belcher with agrax earth shade over the top to dirty it up. The white skulls and dark black eyes sort of give a contrast to those colors. And again, looking to have a base that offers something a little bit different is a city rubble base using Geek Gaming Scenic's basing stuff. Fairly straightforward as I say to paint, a um, couple of layers, bit of highlighting and job done. So moving on to the stuff that is more closely aligned to active projects, we have five dwarf warriors. Now these are chaps from the Dwarf Infantry box set that I did an unboxing for quite recently with the heavy infantry arms so that they have a double-handed weapon option. Now these guys are mostly armour and beard so it does make them quite easy to paint. Slap a load of armour down, a couple of a wash and a couple of dry brushes. Similar sort of thing with the beard and the figures largely painted. I have gone for drab out colours for the clothing than I did with heavy infantry. This is to represent the fact that the dwarf warriors here are clansmen. They're not professional fighters. They are taking the field as the clans have been called to action rather than it being their general duty. So these would be minus craftsmen, etc. Taking the field. Finally, we have this Orlock figure, which I'm going to be using, I think, as a juve, if I do ever actually start playing that commander. This was part of my really challenge to myself to challenge myself. So it took quite a long time to paint this. There's a bit of wet blending. I've used a few products that I've not really used before in order to get the effect that... I was looking for really spending a bit more time on the base than I would normally using various washes, um, including streak and grime to get that weathered hive, under hive look. And I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. It's definitely a figure that stylistically looks like something I've painted with the way it's highlighted. Um, 
But overall, yeah, I think it's come across quite neatly. I really like the way it has come out. I feel it's it's one I can proudly stick on the shelf and say, yeah, him and his mates, their job done. When his mates are done, that is. And I'm really happy with the way it's come out. So that's it from me this month. Is there anything particularly you guys have been working on since the start of the year? Something that maybe feeds into your hobby projects. If you do enjoy these videos, do feel free to slap a like on the video and consider subscribing so that hopefully you get notifications around when these drop. I do tend to drop uh, stuff what I painted in the first Friday of each month. All the, other than that, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for stopping by. This is Return to the Old World. Have a great day.